Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a video overlay effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Video Blocks have very kindly sponsored this tutorial, and if you've never heard of Video Blocks, they offer the largest unlimited download library for video on the web. With over 2 million stock videos, After Effects and motion backgrounds, which adds up to over $10 million worth of content. With a Video Blocks membership, you get access to over 2 million clips for 40% off per clip compared to other sites, and over 100,000 free clips are included with your membership as well. This is because Video Blocks takes 0% commission on its sales, passing all savings on to its members. During the 7 day free trial, you can download up to 140 pieces of content. And you can also sign up for an annual plan, which is $149 for unlimited access to their entire library. And to top it all off, all memberships come with a 100% royalty free agreement. So even if you cancel your membership, your agreement is still valid and you can use your downloaded content for commercial use forever. Click the link in the description box below or go to www.videoblocks.com slash YouTube to get started with this exclusive offer. So you can see here that I have the Video Blocks website up and you can browse by footage, backgrounds and after effects. For this tutorial I'm going to download a piece of footage and you've got lots of different filters here that you can navigate by and again you've got footage, backgrounds and after effects. So I'm going to download a piece of footage and I'm going to select people and then I'm going to filter by most downloaded and I'm going to scroll down and select this piece of footage here. So it's a woman dancing. So to download this piece of footage you select your format and click download and that will download to your computer and once you have your footage switch over to Premiere Pro and create a new project and you can double click in the project folder here to start where it says import media to start or you can go to file down to import navigate to your footage that you downloaded and double click to import once you have your footage just left click and drag onto the timeline and it will automatically create a sequence for you. If you want to go and edit your sequence settings, just go up to sequence, sequence settings, and you can specify the different settings there. So we have our clip in, we can press play and it will play that piece of footage that we've downloaded. Or we can left click and drag on the blue marker here to scrub forwards and backwards through our footage. This is actually quite fun. So what we're going to do next is apply a color overlay effect to this footage. So if you go up to title at the top and down to new title, select default still. This will use your sequence settings. So whatever size your video footage is and the time base, this should all be pre-selected. If you want to change this, you can. You can give this a name. So we'll call this title overlay and select OK. And you should see something like this come up, lots of different settings, a chance for us to be a bit more creative now. So what we're going to do is select the rectangle tool and just left click and drag to create a rectangle. And I'm going to make sure that this covers the entire screen. There we go. And at the moment it's white, not very interesting. So we're going to go over to the right where it says fill type and change solid to linear gradient. So similar to Photoshop and Illustrator, you now have a gradient slider and we can double click on these swatches and select our own color. Let's go for something a little bit more vibrant and click OK and you'll see that it adds that color to the gradient slider and we can just drag that all the way to the left. We can double click the other swatch now and I'm going to specify a second color. Click OK and I'm just going to drag that to the right. So now we've created a linear gradient but we can't see our footage. So what we can do is we can adjust the opacity at the top here. Just left click on 100% and drag left or right to decrease or increase the opacity as you like. 
So I think I'm going to go for about 70%. So you can just left click on the number, type in 70 and click enter. Once you're happy with your overlay, all you have to do is simply go to the top left corner and click the X. Now that won't quit the program, it will just take you back to the main project screen and your overlay, your title that you just created, will be listed here in the project folder. So now what we can do is just left click on overlay, drag that onto our sequence, position it directly above our dancer, and if I scrub through this, you can see this is the effect applied. And this is the original footage. So what we want to do is just left click and drag at the end of the overlay and we can extend that so that it covers the entire footage. So we can then hit play and we can see that our effect, our overlay has been applied to the video. And we can go and adjust this if we like, just by double clicking on overlay in the project folder. And it will take us back to this screen. And if you double click on the overlay text, you can then rename that title as you like. And there we go, that's how you can create a video overlay effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.